हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू इन थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ हाइड्रोकार्बन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टडी मार्कोनिकॉप्स रूल एंड इट्स मैकेनिज्म एंटी मार्कोनिकॉप्स रूल एंड इट्स मैकेनिज्म एल्काइंस इट्स नॉमन क्लेचर स्ट्रक्चर प्रिपरेशन एंड प्रॉपर्टीज सो मार्कोनिकॉप्स रूल स्टेट्स दैट नेगेटिव पार्ट ऑफ द एडेंडम gets attached to that carbon atom which possesses lesser number of hydrogen atoms now mechanism we have studied under the influence of attacking reagent pi electron shifts under electromagnetic effect so this hbr provides electrophile h plus ion and uh, the pi electron there are two possibilities pi electron either can shift toward right carbon atom or it can shift toward left carbon atom in both the case if you follow the yellow arrow then we expect this to form on which H plus ion attacks and finally forms secondary carbocation. If you follow the white arrow, then this ion is formed, and on this H plus ion attacks and forms. primary carbocation now a primary carbocation is less stable as compared to the secondary carbocation therefore carbocation b is attacked by bromide ion so here you see br negative ion attacks on secondary carbocation and forms two bromopropane as major product now anti marconikoff's rule it is also called as peroxide effect or crash effect so when attack of hbr occurs on unsymmetrical alkene like propene in the presence of benzoyl peroxide then one bromopropane is the major product here addition of hbr to unsymmetrical alkene takes place contrary to the markonikoff's rule this happen only with hbr but not with hcl or hi now let us discuss mechanism this is benzoyl peroxide it undergoes homolysis means equal cleavage across the peroxide bond and results into formation of this called benzene free radical in the second step attack of hbr on benzene free radical takes place same homolytic cleavage occurs so benzene and bromine free radical is formed in the third step attack of bromine free radical on unsymmetrical alkene for example propene in this case occurs so this is the homolytic cleavage of 
double bond so there are two possibilities if bromine free radical attacks on second carbon atom then we get primary free radical which is less stable and if bromine free radical attacks on first carbon atom then secondary free radical is formed which is more stable therefore attack of hbr takes place on secondary free radical as follows on uh, secondary free radical attack of hbr occurs from here h dot attacks on this ch dot and results into formation of and results into formation of one bromopropane as major product along with bromine free radical on the other hand the less stable primary free radical hbr attacks hydrogen dot h dot hydrogen free radical attacks on ch2 dot and forms two bromopropane as minor product along with bromine free radical now let us discuss about alkynes alkynes contain at least one carbon carbon triple bond between two carbon atoms their general formula is cn h2n minus 2 and suffix ein is used to the word root during nomenclature so here are some examples the iupic name of first compound is pent 1 ein because numbering takes place from triple bond side the second is pent 2 ein and the third compound is 3 methyl but 1 ein now structure 1 and 2 are position isomers because there is difference in the position of triple bond and structure 1 and 3 as well as structure 2 and 3 are chain isomers because there is difference in the chain of carbon atom structure of alkyne this orbital picture shows ethyne with sigma overlap carbon carbon sigma bond is obtained by head on overlapping of two sp hybridized orbitals of two carbon atoms e each carbon has two unhybridized p orbitals which are perpendicular to each other as well as to the plane of carbon carbon sigma bond 2p orbital of one carbon atom are parallel to 2p orbital of other carbon atom which undergoes sidewise overlapping like this and like this to form two pi bonds between two carbon atoms hence ethyne molecule has one carbon carbon sigma bond and two carbon hydrogen sigma bond and two carbon carbon pi bonds now preparation of alkynes first we will prepare it from calcium carbide on industrial scale ethyne is prepared by treating calcium carbide with water and calcium carbide is prepared by heating quick lime with coke and quick lime can be prepared by heating limestone 
so this is limestone this is quick lime now the quick lime obtained is heated with treated with coke resulting into formation of calcium carbide and this calcium carbide when treated with water then calcium hydroxide and ethyne or acetylene is formed next preparation is from vicinal dihalide when vicinal dihalides are treated with alcoholic solution of koh then potassium hydroxide undergoes dehydrohalogenation reaction means hydrogen and halogens are removed and one molecule of hydrogen halide is eliminated to form alkenyl halide which on treatment with sodamide give rise to alkyne here nabr is released and nh3 is released resulting into formation of alkyne now let us have look on physical properties of alkyne first three members are gases next eight are liquids higher ones are solid all alkynes are colorless except ethyne all are odorless and weakly polar these are immiscible in water and soluble in organic solvents now we'll study about the reason behind acidic nature of alkynes we have studied that in ethyne sp hybridized carbon atoms are there in case of ethene sp2 hybridized carbon atoms are present and in case of ethene sp3 hybridized carbon atoms are present now due to the maximum percentage of s character in sp hybridized orbitals of carbon atom in ethyne molecules they have highest electronegativity hence these attract the shared pair of carbon hydrogen bond of ethyne to the greater extent as compared to that of sp2 hybridized orbital of carbon atom in case of ethene and sp3 hybridized orbital of carbon in ethene thus in ethene h plus ions can be easily released as compared to ethene and ethene hence the hydrogen atoms attached to the triply bonded carbon atoms are acidic in nature sodium metal and sodamide nanh2 are strong bases they react with ethene to form sodium acetylene with liberation of dihydrogen gas now here from the order of acidic behavior it is clear that alkynes are more acidic and alkenes are least acidic now here is the order of acidic character of different alkynes it is clear that as the number of alkyl group increases acidic strength decreases now let us discuss addition reactions alkynes contain triple bond and they add up two molecules of dihydrogen in the presence of catalysts like nickel platinum or palladium on addition of first molecule of hydrogen alkenes are formed on further addition alkenes are formed now 
addition of dihalogen to alkyne when we add bromine to alkyne in this case we are taking propyne then in the first step 1 2 dibromo propene is formed on further addition of bromine 1 1 2 2 tetra bromo propane is formed reddish orange color of solution of bromine in carbon tetrachloride gets decolorized and this is used as test for unsaturation next is addition of hydrogen halide the two molecule of hydrogen halide add to alkynes to form gem dihalides so let us take the example of ethyne which in the presence of hydrogen bromide first forms bromoethene on further addition of hydrogen bromide one one dibromoethane is formed which is a gem dihalide same reaction when carried out in the presence of propyne then in the first step two bromopropene is formed and on further addition of hbr 2,2 dibromopropane is formed. Next is addition of water to alkyne. Like alkanes and alkenes, alkynes are also insoluble in water and so do not undergo reaction with water. However, when one molecule of water is warmed in the presence of mercuric sulfate and dilute sulfuric acid at 333 Kelvin then alkyne undergoes reaction to form carbonyl compound called ethanol which is formed as a result of isomerization of this intermediate product if we carry out same reaction in the presence of propyne if we carry out same reaction in the presence of propyne then this intermediate is formed which on isomerization give rise to carbonyl compound called propane own its common name is acetone next is polymerization alkynes undergoes linear polymerization under suitable conditions to produce polyethylene or polyacetylene it has high molecular weight and contains repeating units of this compound now comes the use of polyethylene thin film of polyethylene can be used as electrodes in batteries and these films are good conductor lighter and cheaper than the metal conductors next is chain polymerization ethylene on passing through red hot iron tube at 873 Kelvin temperature cyclic polymerization takes place and three molecule of ethyne polymerize to form benzene so uh, with this let's have brief recap in Markovnikov's rule we studied that 2 bromopropane is the major product when hydrogen halide is treated with unsymmetrical alkene and when peroxide is added then 
one bromopropane is the major product and we studied about alkynes its physical and chemical properties in detail hope you enjoyed the video thank you